Um, my name is Damayo. Damayo Alfred Afeli Himi Ayeni. We've just shown you um, one of the camps of the Fulanese, and uh, we are heading towards the area where they have permanent structures that translates to permanent uh, uh, settlements. Uh, we are here live with uh, the the platform news.com uh, the convener of the platform news.com comrade I am Aneri Uh you know some uh, we've been talking about um, the menace of the Fulanese and a lot of people who are not on ground seem not to understand the concept of what we'll be saying you will see this vast expanse of land it borders, we have boundaries with the Ibilo, Ikpesa, and uh, Onomo. Onomo, right? Um, yes, Ogugu people. But unfortunately, our people are predominantly farmers. The main occupation around Okpamiri and in fact Okekwedo is farming. This is the area of the portion of land where our people should be farming, but of course, uh, farming activities cannot take place here as it were. Everyone who has ever attempted to farm around here end up getting their crops damaged and nothing happens. Any attempt to defend yourself or your crops or your properties lands you into trouble. We've had issues where some of our people had to go to had to be remanded for defending themselves against the Fulanese. We've had issues, situations where some of our people were killed in their farmlands. Just three days ago, somebody was killed in uh, Uboshiele, right in his farm, by these headers. It has become very necessary to do the needful. The platformnews.com in collaboration with the mayor Alfreds decided to take it upon themselves to, to come and uh, bring what is actually happening around there. For the first time you'll discover that you don't have permanent structures many structures with corrugated iron sheets around. Does this not suggest that these people who ought to be predominant headers are here permanently? It will surprise you to know that this uh, community has grown over 30 years to be larger than quarters of Lankwese that are over 300 years old. You see the permanent structures? Permanent structures. It's our belief that these guys are here to stay unless something is done. We came here in these guys, in these guys, as if we are here to buy um, cattle. Mene, who beat them now? Why you beat them? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, can't take, can't take. Sorry. Come, can't take. Oh, yeah, gashi, gashi. Gashi? Oh, yeah, zoka, bata. Bata. Yeah, bata, bata. Sorry, sorry. 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 You're picking the go school? They go school? Bar school? Bar Macaranta? One of our Bar Macaranta? Aquil Macaranta? Bar Macaranta? Haba? Okay, Yaruni. Uh, one of our Bar Macaranta. Why? Eh? Woman, no, they go school for Fulani. 
Why? You don't like to read book? Adia, you, you don't like to read book? Eh? You like him? Shall we read Arabic? Eh? You shall we read Quran? Ba Quran? Eh? So, Sanu? This, this is a full and settlement in uh, Langpesa. This particular settlement is bigger as it were than the quarter of Langpesa. This is uh, locust beans. Locust beans. And you will realize that it was certainly not planted by the inhabitants of this area uh it's actually belongs to people okay. the people who pass us no who pass on the way for no key a shampoo person you walk a well of mana eleva Won't bring Macaranta come. Make on our children, they go Macaranta. Why eh? Macaranta? Nano no want Macaranta? Go minute, you won't bring Macaranta come. Yeah. For below. They won't put school for here for now. Yeah. No, like Can't say Garido. Can't say Garido, I'm Oga. Akwe Macaranta, Acha. I'm a bad macaranta now. Bad kill now. Yeah, I kill. Uh -huh. See, all these when children, all of them supposed to go macaranta. Opa. Eh? Yeah, this house. And they go build house. They go build macaranta, new macaranta. They go build them for now. Make one they go. Is there for below? Where for below? Is there for market? Eh, uh, Seriki? Uh, Why? Meshai. Meshai? Uh, Meshai? Isa. Meshai Isa. She no ga zango nanko? To. To. Nago de. We are here in disguise. To, to evaluate the true position of things. To, because when, when we tell people that these people are taking over, it seems like um, we, are, we, are blowing, we are blowing it off proportion. But we are not. We are only able to be here comfortably because the men, their men have obviously gone grazing with their cattle and there's no day they go grazing that our people do not have complaints of uh, of uh, uh, herders destroying their crops you see the whole of this vast land the whole of this vast land with boundaries with the below equisa and uh, unumo is occupied by the fulanese this is the second camp we have visited. The distance from this camp to the next camp is less than a, just about 200 meters. Our, 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 our challenge right now is that they no longer build the normal uh, huts they used to build. They now build um, huts with bricks and corrugated iron sheets. See these buildings, this suggests that these are permanent structures. Some of these are very recent. See one other one that is presently under construction. It's a brick building under construction. A brick building. We are bringing you this live from uh, uh, what they call a camp in Lampa. Mm. Mm. 
This is one of the most recent buildings you see that have been built and they'll be roofed with corrugated iron sheets. This by my right is another uh, settlement just cropping up and gradually expanding. The houses we counted just today are over a hundred as it here. Over a hundred in the two camps we have visited. Looking at this road, you will discover that it's more like a, a major road now. I am that there's no single farm, no single farm around here. People used to farm around here back in the day, but they cannot do that right now because any attempt to farm around here, you are, you end up not investing anything. Right down there is Lankwese. But the good people of Lankwese can no longer make good use of their of their land this is the Owena river basin area uh, around Isia quarter in Lily Libad really cannot come here to do the kind of investigative journalism we just uh, carried out. It's a dangerous mission and um, it was necessary to do this. It was very necessary to do this. This is the, one of the Owen River facing ball holes that was sunk around here back in the day. We are out of the danger zone now. We are out of the danger zone. We are at the express now. Uh, we have uh, we have to keep this live streaming on 
just in case uh, we were going to be attacked. Just in case we were going to be attacked and uh, we could uh, catch whatever incidents like. Yes. Uh, Good evening, how are you? We have arrived at the Landa uh, headquarters, the official headquarters of uh, Languedoc Development Association uh, in Isia, where we began this movement from. And um, of course, we have to do a recap of uh, our journey. With me is comrade I Maneri Me, Honorable Victor Aruguyo, who is the convener of the platform news.com and the spokesperson of uh, Okpameri and Okpameri leaders of thoughts. He has been the one going here and there, finding information, trying to bridge the gap, um, giving us information and uh, whenever we have issues with these headsmen, you try to mediate. Uh, we have had issues where people were kidnapped, and of course, it, became, it fell on his purview to find a way to bring these people back. Comrade Aruguyo, uh, could you kindly give us a brief of the little journey we just made Thank and you. how dangerous it actually was? Thank you, the mayor of affairs. It was actually a very dangerous one. Uh, but we thank God that um, we were able to apply a lot of diplomacy, wisdom, and we are back. Uh, I've been there several, uh, but to take pictures, not to do video, secretly. You recall I forwarded some of these you did, pictures you did. to you one time. Yes. Then they, there were fewer houses than what we have, to, and that was just about three months ago. That's right. And, and each time one talks about what is happening there, People think one is exaggerating. People think one is um, so necessarily very apprehensive. I'm sure you saw it today. I'm sure saw for it. Time. Yeah, for the first time, so actually. That's a danger. At the danger, you think it's that. If you saw the large expanse of land they are occupying. Now, our people cannot farm there because two things can happen. They will either be kidnapped or their crops will be destroyed. You have a lot of. Um, kidnappers and bandits masquerading as headsmen, which actually they are not. And from what you saw, they saw a lot of children there. It's yeah, a, a lot. It's a, it's a community of its own. Mm. It's a very, it's a huge community with a lot of children. We have a young boy of less than 22 or so, has two wives, and a lot of children. A lot of children. So that's the thing there. And I think that uh, what is happening here has gone beyond, like I said, it has gone beyond individual communities. Oh, Gugu, oh, Bushi. You recall a man was just three about three days ago. Yes, in Bushi. In his own farms. In his own farm. Who was, a, who was challenging the herdsmen for approaching his cassava for his cattle? That, that my problem with them is they would, it's not just about grazing on the, on the stems. They will uproot the cassava stem and give the roots to their cattle to eat. That's exactly what the man was protesting and they killed him. And like I said, Akokoe do leaders of thought must rise up. Individual communities must rise up. The young people in Akokoe do must rise up. This issue, this kidnapping, banditry, herders, farmers clashes, it has no religion. At all, it has not. It has no politics in it, no political correlation, no ethnicity. So we must all unite. Something must unite the people to, to fight a cause. I think this should unite us so that we can fight this cause. It is dangerous and we must find solution to it as quickly as possible. Yeah, I, I learned something very important. I learned something very important while we were there. I realized that they actually have some form of leadership structure. They, they, they have people who guide them. They have people who they report to. The women were intelligent enough to want to know why we were there, why we were asking questions, uh, why we were taking videos and all of that. But of course, 
it was a covert operation as it were and we had to give them something in order not to agitate them uh, we told them uh, we were surveying the place so we could bring uh, an educational institution to them and all of that but I saw that those women were not satisfied now one of the women did tell me uh, if it is true that uh, we this is what we are actually doing that we should go and meet their leader I asked who is your leader she was trying to be she didn't want to say initially she said the leader is at Ibilo okay where in Ibilo sir at the market who will I ask of uh, he mentioned the name I can't remember the name, but, the name yeah but so now I think we can actually start at the leadership level meet these people tell them okay you have actually overstayed your welcome we would want you to leave let's have an agreement with them on how they can leave i'm aware that language development association had uh, issued these people um quick notice about a year ago which was to expire was it last month or this april yeah one year one year quick notice so one would expect that by now they should be thinking of leaving but I was surprised to find new permanent structures. We corrugated iron sheets. So, uh, what what do you think the Lancaster like Development Association should do once more as a follow-up, sir? Well, before I say something about Lancaster like Development, what they can do, I must also tell you what the hindrances that we have had. Okay. Now, if not Dr. Bode, Steve Ekundayo, yeah. from the University of Benin, who called me since about three days ago, he's been talking to me. I told him of Fulani Mata, Katu, so that, um, my activities are off there. Mm. Because uh, we are not Sorry, getting... sir. Uh, we, we must appreciate uh, uh, our brother, um, the, um, Nicholas, Nicholas Ogedengbe, who is a, a community leader and is actually one of the members of the tax force of, on electricity. It was with his powers. We, we knew that if, he, if time to reach to fight, he go feel protect us, <laughs> and I will say, stay there. Go there. Thank you, Nicholas, for accompanying us and showing us around the place. Sorry, Mr. Arugu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was trying to say the problem. It's not necessarily with the traditional rulers. I must confess it. Now the land system, the land ownership system in Africa and in Nigeria too, even in Edo State, is such a way that communities don't own land. True. It is individual. Even the king don't, does not own a land. The king has his own land bequeathed to him by his father. As I am, I have my own land when my daddy died about a few months ago. We have a land. Now, the problem is, each time we come up, let's find a way of evicting these people. The family, the, the landowners or the landlord, whatever you call it, they say, no, it's my land. I gave land to them. You cannot come and tell me what uh, I should do with my land. That has been the greatest problem. So, until we have a sort of consensus arrangement where both landowners, the traditional rulers, all major stakeholders will be on the same page, it's at that time we can make headway. For instance, where we are just coming from now belongs to Izazi people. True. It's their land. And even within Izazi, the land belongs to families. Now, today I was in Aforo. It's far, 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 far most about uh, how many kilometers would I call? Ewalewa, e right? To no, Oegbe. not Ewalewa. I don't know. Far, far, far. Towards Ubonyo, yeah. as if you are going towards Ubonyo yeah, in Yeah, it's almost like four, five kilometers, kilometers from here. No, six kilometers from where we are sitting now. I was here this afternoon to see the teacher, the one they call the court teacher, has his own cows there. You know. So, land owners must work with traditional rulers, must work with stakeholders, must work with our common leaders of thoughts, must work with Akoko Edo stakeholders. That is the only way we can get it right. Because you know, the, I know the effort you have put up into this thing. I prefer people have been, people have begun to villainize some of us. And so that's why me, I said I won't talk about it anymore. But because I have a lot of regard for Bode, uh, Steve, Dr. Steve Bode, you know, He's been talking, especially when the issue of Goshi happened. He said he's not hearing my voice. And I said yes. And I told him why I'm not talking. Because sometimes when you're able talking, some people will come and say, What do you be yourself? Uh, this one they overdo. You know, stuff like that. And because you are working within an organization, you have to be careful. 
No, 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 same as if you are taking it personal. Yeah, personal. If I'm working as I need, for instance, if it is a platform, if I decide to use the platform news.com to share powerful and a course, I know what to do. Uh -huh. So whatever that is happening will be me. Uh -huh. I take responsibility. Whatever that happens is me. But because you work for an, work for an organization, a group, an association, yeah, there are limitations because action has to be taken centrally where I everybody agree. has agreed. For instance, I, I write minutes for the Okwame traditional rulers. I facilitate their meetings. I'm the spokesperson of Okwame Nation, Papalot, and all of those things. Dr. Chris Lekudayo is my yoga. He's the chairman of Papalot. You understand? The upper of is the chairman of Okwame traditional rulers council. Why the Imam of Sumorika is his deputy. Now, for any action to be successful, these critical stakeholders I have mentioned must not come together and agree to say, okay, we must do this. About a month ago, we had a meeting of this nature where we call all the communities in the primary, about 23. And the traditional rulers, and they came. And it was a one item meeting. How many communities here have cows? Those who have cows, the ones have, even, have been there, have been to these communities. There's no camp I've not visited in Okwamiri, a part of Akokoedo. I've been to somewhere in around the Nemenekwa that has have another have a camp there. I've been to Okwe, you know, I've been to Ikpeshi, you know, I've been to Ososo, you know. They have a large, the, 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 the people in Ososo, if you divide fact, Ososo- There's a full, uh, you remember we were in Ososo one time when they were having their sala? Yeah. The population the popul of Fulani people we saw within the town will be close to half of the total population of Ososo people. Those living in Ososo. Those living in Ososo that we saw that day. Right. I remember when we took some pictures that yeah. day. So these are the issues. So when, when it's been, the, the, the one has a tie because there's no synergy. We are not all on the same page because some people are benefiting from the system. People collect money from them. Every Christmas, they give them cow to kill. You know, they give them money, they share at different levels. So these are the issues. These are the issues. So, so going forward, what can Landa do? Landa can do something. But continue to we will continue to insist and appeal. We must continue to insist, even at the level of government. Government is not also helping partners, particularly the police. The police is always taking side with them. Now they will come and eat your crops. They will come and report to us, and all of those things. You go to the police, nothing will happen. But if you do something to the cow, the police will arrest you. I just I, I wrote something this morning. Some boys in the Moga were accused of killing a cow. Okay. They were arrested and kept in the police station for nine days. Later, some of them were transferred to Benin for killing a cow. And what happened? They were later transferred to Stacia de Benin. As if it was a criminal offense. They were just released just this yesterday. Now, Fulani killed a 70 year old man who was protesting, protesting for destroying his son, for brooding his cassava for, uh, for, the, for the cattle, cow, to, cattle consume. to consume. And he was macheted, killed. Up till now, no arrests have been made. Not even one person has been arrested. And the police are asking for evidence so, to prove that it is a full and that actually killed him. What evidence are we looking for? So this is where we are. We have never had issues of ordinary people macheting their own people in the farm. No. If they have problems, they handle it at home. Not going to the person's farm. What issues with a 70 year old man even have with another person that will make that person meet him in the farm? Can I sister pastor at that? So, well, uh, as, as far as the, the issues of landlord and all of that is concerned, I think I have a solution. I, I want to suggest a solution, sir. Yes, the land tenure system in Lankwese is uh, owned by families. I, I agree with that absolutely. Now, every landowner in Lankwese actually has a right to, to give land to whoever they wish. But I think it is imperative, it is imperative to, to, to educate these landowners that as much as it is your right to lease your land or sell your land to whoever you will, make sure those people do not encroach into other people's land. If, for instance, uh, we come to, uh, they, we have full and uh, uh, headsmen in your father's land, 
at uh, Egu Meme. Your father's land is in Egu Meme, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, Efia, where my father's land is, is you, you pass through Efia to go to Egu Meme. Like yes. And there are other people who live, who have lands close to Egu Meme that are not, that are neighbors with Egu Meme, That's where right. your father's land is. Right. If you, as Comrade Arugu, you must host the Fulanis on your father's land. With no, where nobody has a right to make or to, to force you to, uh, to leave. We should be able to compare you to make sure they remain on your father's land without country, encroaching on other people's land. I think when we dialogue with these landowners, I think when and where they insist that it is their land and they have the prerogative to give it to who they will, we should be able to now tell them, okay, let's come to an agreement. You and your tenant should sign an accord that your cattle will not graze through my own land, which is close to yours, or any other land in Akasa, which is close to yours. Since you are the Alalo, let them remain and graze on your land. So I, I think so doing, we can actually start adopting the, the ranching system. If, if, if uh, the Aroguyo family has given me their land to rear my cattle, I should be able to contain my cattle within the Arugunyo land without encroaching in another man's land. And if the landlords cannot guarantee us that their 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 tenants or their 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 yes their tenants will not encroach into other people's land, then they should ask them to leave. So that when we sign an accord with people like this, at the end of the day, where there's a breach of that accord, we hold the people responsible, as in the landlords. We should stop holding the full and responsible. When we have an accord with these landlords and they, they now have, uh, they, they, they now encroach onto, onto someone else's land, then we will call the, the, the landlord's attention to say, your tenants have done this, they have destroyed somebody's crop, you should come and pay. When it becomes the, the, the liability of the landlords, I think we will start, we'll be able to start handling the menace of the cattle areas from here. This is my opinion, sir. What do you think? Well, I, 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 I completely agree with you. If you read me this morning, I did From say... My own land, which is close to yours. I did say in that... Uh, which is close to yours. That... Uh, you that... that, that uh, on your land. So we must... I think so too, we, can we should restrict... We should restrict cow movement. If I give land... Like I suggested in that right off, then the, the the headers must remain in my land, so they must not stray. They must be their movement must be restricted. For instance, why Akusumbe quarters in Lakpase brought full and to their land is that that is as the people have full and in their land. Headsmen who will live is as Islam are come and be destroying their crops. And now when they look for justice, they don't get. And they say the only thing they two can do is to go and bring full and people, head us, give them a portion of land so that uh, they balance the equation. You recall the last time this issue came up and we we're going to the palace. I told you I was not coming. <laughs> yeah, yes, you I said so. <laughs> Just recently again, Gina Mike don't go call me. I said somebody had a dream that blood is flowing in La Pose between Fulani and this thing. And I told him I'm not coming. Because me, what we were taught in the office and at school and the trainees that we are attending, that's what we call time lag. <laughs> we want these people. So, 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 so. They must be, we must be smart, you know? Not just talking, Not talking, just talk, talking. Talk, talk, talk. Next day, when you come, we are talking about the same thing again. That's why I say, on oh, Fulani matter, Katus matter, I will not. Like I said, I have a lot of respect for Dr. Bode Ekundayo. That's why, if not. So that's the thing. So I think traditional rulers, community leaders, and various stakeholders must come to have a consensus. The, the matter should not be left for traditional rulers alone. No. No, it should not be left for traditional rulers alone. So all of us should come together and say, you need to take a position. This is the way I look at it. And it is possible. Who is making waves and all of those things? It, 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 it was daring. 
So I, I, I think we must, we must come together to do something. And it is possible. It is possible. Um, uh, I want to appreciate you and the good people of Agba. The good people of Agba community, a few months ago, uh, of uh, Fulanese in their farmland. And without wasting time, they took proactive action and evicted the Fulanese right the same day they got this information. How, how did you call, how did you manage that, that operation? It was simple because everybody, it was simple because everybody was on the same page. Only very few people who feed them. It's as people are collecting money. I call some people are collecting money. I follow people are collecting money. Why will I back to not use that as a way of raising money to fund their activities, to fund their meeting? And as I said, from the money, we can seek a borehole, we can build a town hall. This was the argument of some people. But the chairman of the group, of our group, uh, Mr. Johnson Aroguyo, who also doubles as my uncle, we all stood our ground and said no. Even when we were doing something, they brought some things to us, we rejected them. So that's how people came together and we mobilized, and they were driven away because almost all of us were on the same page. One. The two, we did not collect anything from them. Yeah. Eh, there was no commitment. There was no commitment of any sort. No commitment. So that's why it was simple. Well, uh, just just yesterday, I got a report from somebody at Ilekbi that the the people of uh, Oriokwe, the people of Oriokwe, Oriokwe. I'm oh, sorry. That the people of Oriokwe have actually succeeded in pushing out their the headsmen within their own locality because of certain things that were disposal is that most of these headers have come down towards Ilekwe. I was talking with a year yesterday and a year was complaining bitterly that now that the Fulani people of uh, of um, Oriokwe have uh, sorry have been chased by the Oriokwe people they have all come down to Ilikwe, and their crops have been damaged. That he has actually recorded a, a lot of law. I now ask him, why have you not taken? Huh? No tiger. I, I asked him, why have you not taken any action as, as a people? We know the people of uh, Ilikwe to be very proactive, to not to, to be no nonsense people. Mm, they are warriors. They are, the people uh, of Ilikwe are, 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 are warriors and, and, and all of that. Lightning. But he, he was he was he was so weak when he was responding. He was happy. He was like, ah, me 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 talk like this i wonder where where i would stand in a situation like that the people of lancaster seem to be helpless i know that where we are coming from uh amos bolaji seriki majid uh so and some other persons they used to farm around uh that, that area but these days you see seriki majid and amos bolaji around so i doubt if they still go to farm so if our people no longer have land to farm despite the the expanse of land in Lankwese, well how do we survive over time the fulani community we, we visited just now is less than uh, 30 years old it's while our community like i always say is over 300 years old if a community like that can grow within uh, uh to this space of 20 30 years to over 100 houses. And Anwusha, which is over 300 years old, still hasn't got over more than 50 houses. What would Lankwese be in 20 years time when this, these people must have now had uh, like half the population of Lankwese? It means they will start aspiring to become councillors in Lankwese. They will start aspiring to become House of Assembly members. Of course, they will have the voting power. They have a right to be voted for. They will claim they are Nigerians. What will we do at that point in time? 
Sir, what future do you see for Kwameri land if the menace of the Fulanis continue like this? I see our people being enslaved in the future. I see our lands be taken away. Now, when federal government come with the Ruga, came up with the Ruga system, they have a plan. Now, what you saw just now there is like a Ruga. Yes. You, you saw the expanse of land. Within the same place, there were like three different camps, just like 100, 200 meters from each other. So, with, with that place with the corrugated iron sheet as the headquarters, as it were. What I would suggest, if they must rear their cow or cattle or whatever, one, they should leave the bush and come and stay with us in the town. Let them stay with us. They should rent houses. Or if they want land, we give them land. Let them build us. The way we two are building Abuja in Which Kaduna, will boost the economy yeah, of the yeah, community in the first the instance. Two. We cannot actually sell land to them. Then the first the place, like a ranch. The, I don't know what I understand. Yeah, I get you. First it. If it is 100 by 100, you have money to buy. Contain your animals Contain with your animals there. Feed them there. Seek your bubble Like it's there. done elsewhere. Elsewhere. So that's number two. So you can do that. Number three. The leadership of Fulani, uh, you recall sometime last year, our common leaders of thought came up with the idea of uh, what they call profiling. Let's even identify the number of camps we have in Nakokoedo, starting from Unemenekwa, Akwama, down to this place. And they gave my Ejina my Dogo another responsibility. Ejina my Kando, I think it was Landa that financed that. He, Landa agree at the level of common leaders of thought that whatever money that is involved to do that uh, profiling, Landa said they would do it. Landa actually brought money through the leadership of uh, something in uh, Aturu, where we went around the whole camps, from Makeke to Ososo, from Ososo to Dagbala, Dagbala to Ojirami, Ojirami to Eko, Eko to Lankpeseye, Lankpese to Ikino, uh, Kiro Inle, Kiro Inle to Eko, just like that, to Ibino, Imoga, that's how we visited all the camps and we identified them and we wrote our report and we made some suggestions. Like I said, the landowner, the people who claim to own the land, are the ones frustrating all the efforts. You and I are of facing course, like oh, Somebody you, trying to beat me up, so, deal with me. So these are the issues. So the, the issue has grown beyond all. So it, it must become an akoko issue. For Kwameri, yes, Kwameri is an individual. Whatever affects Kwameri nation affects the nation. So we must come together and resolve this menace, the, 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 the situation. And it is resolvable if we are transparent, we are honest, and we all mean well. We can get it done. It is possible. So this, 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 this is the way I look at it. Thank you very much, sir. Um, for me, I just hope. I've read the book once. Uh, there, wa there was a country. There was a country. Yeah, that was the last book written by Professor Chinua Achebe. Chinua Achebe. Yes. There was a country. Was last, I read last that last book. I read it over and over again. I, I tried. I tried to reason beyond the words of Chinua Achebe in that book. And as it were today, I'm just hoping a situation will not come in the future where uh, the posterity will say. There was a land, there was a community, there was a place. I pray it doesn't come to that. But posterity also will not forgive those of us who have the opportunity to make a difference today, and we are refusing to do so. Posterity will not forgive those of us with the powers to do something about the Fulani menace today, and we are refusing to do so. Posterity will not forgive those who are selfishly collecting uh, uh, um, uh, handouts from the full and I'm aware that sometimes they give them dead cows or sickly cows during the Christmas period and all of that. How can you give a full community like Lankwe say one cow and our people we, we happily accept it and start sharing a cow, a single cow to a full community and we'll be happy that this is a gift from uh, from, 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 from the Fulanese. 
Et il dit, c'est un petit bilo, il peut être ça, il est un Non, non. C'est un temps où l'hongas stoppe nous ruler. Je suis aware of somebody, a young man, a young man went to his farm a few months ago, sometime last year. He met headsmen on his um, cassava farm, just like what happened to the Ugbushi man that was murdered recently. They were uprooting his cassava stems and feeding the roots, the cassava tubers, to their cattle. The young man from Ekun, Ekun, quarters in Lankwese, he challenged them and they tried to mob him. About four Fulani uh, lads tried to mob this young man up. But of course, he defended himself. He, he, he disarmed one of the Fulani men and just as he was disarming that one, another one was trying to machete him. And he used the machete he collected from the other Fulani man to cut the wrist of the one that was trying to machete him. What happened to this young man? He was remanded. He spent several months in remand. At the end of the day, but for, but for, the, for, for, for family members and friends, he spent a fortune to be released from remand. He was going to be sentenced to jail for defending himself. How can four men attack one man and you are jailing the one man that was attacked? Where does that happen if not in Nigeria? Where does it happen if not in Lankwese and Okpameri? A young man, Abobi, Abobi, a.k.a. Um, Vicente Akolade, Akolade Adeoye, from AFM quarters in Lankwese. Several years ago, maybe within 15, 20 years ago, I, I think he saw the future. He saw what was going to happen then. His father owns land at uh, Eke, Eke area of Lankwese. And uh, he, he went to the farm that uh, fateful day and saw the, and he, he saw Fulani headsmen in his land destroying his crops. He told them to leave his land and they attacked him. They attacked him and they macheted him, they cut his hand. What did he do? He retaliated. He was, ah, you cannot go in his Eke Meo. He refused to accept. He stood his ground. He disarmed the full animal. He chased them away. One of them who was stubborn attacked him and murdered him again. He ran to his own hut and took uh, a swing, a swing, I don't know what it's called in English, a swing that they used to pick yam from the, from the oven in the farms. He pierced one of the full and his eye. They had, they had murdered him several times. He took that guy's eye down and they were going, they were reinforcing and coming back. He now killed one of the cow. He killed one of the cow and ran home. Unfortunately, within this town, Abobi was fished out. When those people and men came, they, they were like, uh, Tutu Blacky, Tutu Blacky killed my cow. Tutu Blacky killed my cow. They described this young man and they fished our people, our own people, fished Abobi out of the community and he was identified by this headsman. Abobi was to go to jail, but by the grace of God and friends and family who raised funds for, for Abobi to pay for the cow and rescue himself from, the, from police custody, he would have gone to jail. That was the last time Abobi ever accosted Fulanese on his farm. We've had situations also where, okay, there's, there's Oja, Oja Tafa from Aunsha, Oja Taye uh, Subeiru. I'm mentioning names so that you people can call them and ask them if what I'm saying is true. He and his children saw full and yes men in their farm, destroying their crops. They captured one of the cows and took to the police station. The police mandated them to be bringing food for the cow every day. They were spending transport from Lankwese to Ibilo police station every day to feed the cow. When they, at the time they said the cow, the cow was sick, they had to go and look for a veterinary doctor to come and be taking care of this cow at the police station. At the end of the day, what happened? They were told that the cow had died. If a cow dies, will the carcass of that cow not be available? Obviously, somebody at the police station had killed this cow. It was the unitary period. They had killed this cow and used it to celebrate Christmas. And the man whose crops were destroyed, there was no compensation for this man eventually. 
The same thing happened to Kogi. Kogi, I can't remember his full names. Collins. 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 Um, Collins Kogi. DSTV. And a Kusumemi boy. The same thing happened to him. He took the cow to the police station. He was asked to be feeding this cow. At the end of the day, what they said the cow, that nothing happened. He didn't get compensated. But any attempt to at attack or defend yourself from these full and headers, when they take the report, even you, when you take the report to the, to, to the police station or anywhere of authority, they will start, the case will go against you. Are we saying we are second class citizens in this country? How long shall we continue like this? Just like Comrade Arugio said, uh, some of us are beginning to be tired of all of this bullshit because those who are actually in position to do something about it are not interested in doing anything. Maybe some of them are compromised. Maybe some of them are actually benefiting something. Who am I? What can I really do? What can I as a person really do unless we come together as a people to do something? I'm just an individual. Comrade Arogoe is just an individual. We wish to use this opportunity to call on all stakeholders of the Upper Kingdom, all stakeholders of Akoko Edo, to, as a matter of urgency, declare a state of emergency on Fulani headsmen, on Fulani living within our communities. Let them go back to the north where they come from. We do not have sufficient land for us to dwell. Talk more of harboring them and their cattle. Enough is enough. We are tired of losing our people. We are tired of losing our brothers and sisters. We are tired of our mothers dying of hunger. We saw the women, the Fulani women, uh, who had harvested um, locust beans. For a locust bean tree, to produce that much quantity of locust beans, it means that tree must have spent over 50 years, over five decades. Those are cash crop trees, which our aged parents used to harvest to make ends meet. But today, anybody who is above 40 does not have the liberty, the freedom to even go to his farm to harvest anything. Nobody wants to die. Now, they are taking advantage of the cash crops our forefathers planted for us to enjoy today. They are the people now harvesting them. You discover now that our people no longer produce okwasa. Our people now have to buy okwasa from them. How long shall we continue? Will we keep our, will we shut up and become slaves? Will we keep quiet and become slaves? in the hands of illiterates, people who cannot even express themselves in English, people who told us today that they were not interested in the schools that we told them we were bringing to them, that they were comfortable with how they were, that they were comfortable with the few schools at Ibilo, that those of them who insisted they don't want to go to school could go to school at Ibilo, that they didn't want schools within their community. But they are ruling us in our own homeland. There's so much we can say. Me, I the vex. I don't know whether you the vex. If you know your parents or your relatives or your friends or some of your family members are landlords to this full and headsmen, please educate them on the manners of the headsmen. Let them know a time will come when the hunter will become the hunted. A time will come when these people who have been giving lands to these headsmen will become the victims of the full animal menace. There's so much we can say. My family is not in Lankwese, but I'm a freeborn of Lankwese and I spend most of my time in Lankwese. I have friends and relatives within Lankwese. If you do not care, I do care. I do. But I believe most of us actually care. So on the final note, please, those of us who have friends and family at all that are complacent in all of these issues, kindly educate them. Let them know how dangerous all of this is. I wish to acknowledge uh, some of those who joined us on this live streaming. Uh, Ajemi, uh, John, 
Mrs. Abimbola Extra. Thank you for joining us, Alex Adele. Nice job. Thank you, sir. Alaji Egwifo Aliu. Yes, you have won so hard. Alaji Egwifo, you've been warning and you've been warning. You live in the north and you know what has been happening in Kaduna, how all of these things have been causing issues even in Kaduna. You've been, in fact, right now you're telling us this is a time bomb ready to explode. Anytime, any day, and any year. Well done, brothers. What you just did now is like one who went to Lion's Den. As a matter of fact, that place was a Lion's Den. Yes, as gallant as I am, I will not fail to tell you that uh, I, I, had, I had to hold my hands in my, in, my, in my heart in my hands. So what you just did is like one who went to the Lion's Den. The most important thing is that the awareness is spreading nationwide on daily basis. Very soon, they will no longer have a say in this country. We hope so. We hope what you are telling us is true. Uh, many thanks to uh, Pastor Vincent Agbi, uh, Sir Elifwe Andrew Agbi. Thank you. Uh, we know you are always following us. Uh, Comrade Samson Afolabi, Oga officer, help us advise your people they should stop supporting evil so that our people will be safe in their hands. Officer Samson Afolabi, thank you for joining us. John Barry Gian, thank you for joining us. Uh, Mr. Boniface Ogedengbe, uh, we are happy to have you joining us, madam. Uh, uh, Uncle Sanusi Pola, you've always been a backbone for us. We, we know we can always rely on you. Thank you for all your support, especially behind the scene. Uh, Roland Orinami, thank you for joining us. Irene Kennedy, Odewigi, my sister, thank you. Uh, Brian Mo Ekunayo, Abraham Odia Sunday, Oga Odia, thank you for joining us, sir. Uh, Samson Afolabi, Emmanuel Maxwell Adeboye, John Onyondo de Sanusi, Festus Bukesh, my Oga, Isi Haisi. Um, our big brother Ibrahim Hamid, thank you, sir. We know the efforts you two have been making. I'm sure we'll come to, we'll get a solution soon. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ibrahim Hamid of the Afe Cafe Microfinance Bank. Uh, Johnson Ogbona, uh, Kingston, Kingston. Well, uh, he said, better take the right step before it's too late for safety. Well, we are starting from dialogue and that's what we are just doing right now. Johnson Blessing, Ambassador Brightson Oyakilome, Brightson. Uh, Uncle Donatus, Donatus Adewale, thank you for joining us. Yes, this is absolutely really serious uh the right honorable kabiru ajoto honorable um immediate past speaker of the state house of assembly you've been very reliable you've been very proactive i'm sure having watched this having seen what is actually on ground i'm sure you will start making moves to do something because it's something you are known for to always take practice there we are counting on you right honorable kabiru ajoto to, to, to lead us right, tell us what to do and lead us in the right dire direction. We actually do not know what to do. Thank you for joining us, Honorable uh, Kabiru Ajoto. Um, David Silkas, my brother, my friend, now so we they see for my village. Jonathan Okato. No, this is not Niger State. Jonathan, advisor, this is Lankpese. This happened live in Lankpese. Today, right now, live. Yes, it was brought to you from Lankpese. Omoru Danjuma. And so we see for my community, oh, we we don't tire to keep quiet. Now we say make we beg on now. We say make we beg on and make on come to our assistance. If we no go fi uh, do am alone, so now we say make we beg on. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, we were hoping we could bring some persons on camera. Alex Adele, uh, say you, you yes you are. You said a time is coming when Hunter will become the hunted. Exactly. You know that. Engineer Detiba, thank you for joining us. Uh, comrade Alex Adele, how are you, sir? I'm fine, sir. Good day. Wow. I'm happy to have you online, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, what, what is your opinion? Where do you think we can go from here, sir? Well, like you rightly said, a time is coming when the hunter will become the hunted. Yes, the issue of Fulani Menace is, 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 is a tickling bomb. 
in fact, it's a bomb that will explode very soon if proactive steps are not taken. Yes, the so-called leaders know the right thing to do, but they aren't doing it. But on the part of our people, we're so fortunate that because I grew up as a young boy in the village, following my dad, even my grandfather to the farm. Yes, then we do have this Fulani headsman. In fact, I remember a popular man called Ibrahim, popularly called Ibro, who, uh, who resides around the towards Ogugu area, you know, yeah, as in one of the bushes there. there. Okay, still there, right? Fine. Yeah. Now, this man then, I remember vividly, all these boys that don't move around with cows, no, then they were not that violent. You, you won't see any AK-47 with them. All you see with them is their sticks and maybe knives or cutlasses, you know? Even when you meet them in your farms, when you treat them, they will run. But the reverse is the case this day, uh, the, uh, today. Why? Apparently because the, the powers that be, it kind of make them understand that, oh, you can do this and nothing will happen. Yes, on the part of our people, what should we do? Yes, I think it's time those that give out lands, like you rightly said, maybe due to, will I say, poverty or maybe at times ignorance. Okay, like the case that happened at, uh, between uh, Equiza and Ogugu, whereby Equiza gave their land to these headers. And in turn, these headers now they kind of cross to the Ogugu land, thereby disturbing their farming activities and also destroying their crops. But on the part of Equiza, they felt that, okay, this is like kind of, uh, how, will I, how will I put it? Okay, let us do this to a kind of deal with you. But in all of this, but like you, like someone rightly said, I think unity will still go a long way in solving this problem. Unity amongst our people, especially the upper family people. We should, be, we should be united in one cause because an injury to one is an injury to all. Exactly. But if you say you are from, if you say you are from, if you say you are from Equiza, and you felt that giving out your land to headers, then, then in turn, the headers now start attacking the people and you feel you are not concerned. Then, on the long run, it will come back and affect you also. Because along the line, you discover that farmers that do go to farms will not be able to uh, uh, assess their farms anymore. Farm, uh, farm, farm products will now be, in fact, to get farm products from the market will not be a difficult thing. Well, when you go to the market today, permit even... me to interrupt you, sir. Permit me to interrupt you. Are you aware that our markets no longer have sufficient supply of cassava? Yes, I know. Ninety percent of cassava that comes to Okwamiri now comes from Kaba in Kogi State because our boys, our people, can no longer go to farm. You will have to farm it for a full year, and more than half of your crops will be destroyed. Now the farming activities has reduced. So if this continues, where do we go from here? Please continue, sir. It's, it's, it's so unfortunate. That is what I'm saying. So on, on that note, on that note, because right now, once, since this thing first, since this, thing, yeah, since this issue of uh, full anihesma is left unattended to, a time is coming, our farmers will not be able to at, uh, assess their farms, one. Two, we will not even have anything to eat. It has that begun just, to happen. Yes, that is just the truth of the matter. We will not even have anything to eat. Not talk of even having the one that you take to the market to go and sell. You made mention of uh, uh, local beans, popularly called Ukpasa. <laughs> it's, so, it's, so, <laughs> it's so funny because what I said is what is because <laughs> if the full and new women are not the ones selling Ukpasa to our people, to then... <laughs> <laughs> so as I said earlier on, unity will, will, will go a long way. To really help us because if if there if there if there if there, if there was unity like the case you made mention of say, that it is even the same as the people that now have to fetch the guy out you know <laughs> it's, it's it's quite unfortunate it's quite very, unfortunate very, but very. that cannot happen elsewhere most especially the full and they can't do that to themselves because the, the scenario you, you you made mention of in like it's not only like say, no, even below everywhere all over See, I've even I've seen a situation whereby a man I don't want to this. You know my land, this is your own. I've given it to them. But people are trying to make to, to make him understand the fact that no, we know it is your land. Give the, the
not to even affect you alone, but the 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 the, 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 the as in the community in, in general. We are today. Let's pray. Uh, can can we, you hear me, we, sir? We get it right because if if we are to hope, yeah, I'm hearing you. Okay, go ahead, please. Because if we are to hope on so all the so-called political office holders, it's like that will never ever come. That is just it. So it's the right time our people get the right thing. It's, it's the right time our people do the right thing. And what is the right thing? By telling these people, man, vacates. Since, since you guys cannot stay with us in peace, then vacate our land. It's simple as that. So that is it. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us, comrades. Ahabaimi, Ahabaimi, Alexander Adele. You've always been a great man. You are a youth mobilizer. And I remember we have always been on the same political school of thoughts. We've always had the same opinions. And I know going forward, we'll always do great things together. God bless you, my brother. And you too. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, um, we hope to see have um, uh, people join us live to air their opinions. Uh, please do well to join us to air your opinion. Let's let let people hear you. Let lend the voice, lend the voice to this campaign. Full and name must go. That that is that is what I think. Uh, somewhere Daria called him. He says the burning question is, what can I do? What can you do? Well, all my parts have started with what I can do. I'm addressing Samuel, Pastor Samuel Dari Economy. I have started by, by bringing the true state of the matter to our people. Information is key. And that is exactly what comrade I'm Anerimi Arogoyo and his platform news.com and I have succeeded in doing today. So what can you do, sir? Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam. What can you do? Thank you. Uh, who is with us? Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Hello. <laughs> ah, Mr. John Ajibolu, correct? Yes, yeah, so <laughs> Mayor. Uh, my brother, my friend. <laughs> good evening, good evening. How are you today? <laughs> Very well, thank you, sir. Thank you okay, for joining thanks us. For, yeah, thanks for all the efforts. I think I'm most grateful to be part of this. And uh, I, Anike, Arturo has been on this issue for a while, and uh, I, I can see you, Chairman. No, I have Over to. Uh, I'm very angry. I need to step down, you know. <laughs> can you hear me? Loud and clear, loud you... and clear. Okay. I think the leaders, the entire community, your primary community has to have a consensus with the leader to decide exactly what we want to do. I think I see a lot of sellout. Sellout. Exactly. We have been digging up. I even talked with my brother to actually know what the issue is. We grew up with the Fulanis. They were not as bad as we have it. We know the power that be is supporting them absolutely. But be that as it may, do we sell ourselves out? That is one question I want to ask. So, we don't need to sell out ourselves. We need to protect ourselves. United, just like he said, you, if we stand united in one cause, we can fight and win. It's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. So it could be a problem. With that, we can really defend ourselves. Injury to one is injury, injury to all to of all. us. Mm. Of us, both of us, we we stay off. Not we are not happy. We are not happy. We are not happy. We are not happy. The community is not safe. Nobody is safe. But well, just thank God for God. But I know we all have to be on the on the watchword. So thank you guys for the great job you are doing. I really appreciate. Thank all you love, very bro. much. Thank you All very right. much. Sir. We appreciate you too. You've always followed our antecedents and you've always supported us. You've always given yeah. us a thumbs up of encouragement. Yeah. And we appreciate yeah. you too, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Thank, love, bro. To family, sir. Thank you. Yeah, you can take me off. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, Comrade John. Ajibolu, Comrade John Ajibolu, he has given us his own opinion too. Uh, we have uh, Honorable Yekini Idaye online. I don't know if he's free to talk to us. I really wish Honorable Yekini can actually 
say a word. We have the world listening to us, and they are the leaders. They are our leaders, and we, there are those of us who are actually waiting for them to, to point us in the right direction. And because we trust them, uh, because we trust leadership, we'll do whatever they ask us to do. Uh, we have a scheduled meeting. The platform news.com and uh, the mayor of friends have a scheduled meeting with uh, Honorable Yakini Idaye this weekend. I am sure he's with us. Ah, <laughs> God bless. God bless the big man. Sir, you are the only big man I know all of my life, sir. <laughs> Honorable Yakini, sir. Good, good evening, sir. I think his network is quite porous. Hello, sir. Can you hear us, sir? Hello, Honorable. Can you hear us, sir? Yeah, I think his network is quite bad. Yeah. Hey, uh, okay. Uh, just in case you are unable to communicate, okay. Just in case you are unable to communicate with us, I will be with you this weekend live. We will be spending this weekend with you live, so that we can talk about a lot of things together. We appreciate all your efforts. We want to use this medium to appreciate you again for your um, your mobilization for Leo Fadaka's burial. Uh, everything you put in place, we acknowledge your leadership and uh, we will always be for and with you, sir. God bless you, sir. I, I think the network is quite bad, sir. It's back. Yeah. If you can hear us, go ahead, sir. Go ahead if you can hear us, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what, what is your opinion about this uh, Fulani headsman menace? What can be done? What should be done, actually, sir? Yeah, the network is bad. It's from his hand. Okay, from his hand. Yeah, the network is quite bad. Okay, no problem. Perhaps by the weekend when we call, we'll be able to get your opinion. Comrade Aroguyo and I will be with you live at uh, the Kukuruku Hills. Uh, we'll be with you at the Kukuruku Hills, sir. We want to spend the Yule Tide with you. If that is okay, sir. Say hello to, to the Honorable. Okay. <laughs> well done, sir. God bless you, sir. Thanks for joining us, sir. I wish, I wish the Honorable could really talk to her. I'm sure he has a word or two for us. But of course, by weekend, okay, Madam Abimbola Esther is trying to join us. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, let's see if we can have... As many people that wish to say something about this menace can kindly just request to be... To be to be added to the video, just request to be added and add you so we can hear your opinion. Let let the people actually know that people are concerned. Let's hear our opinions and the way forward. Hello, ma. Good evening, ma. Mrs. Abimbola Esther. Me, Agbi. Good evening, ma. Hello, ma. Uh, uh, we cannot hear you. I think the network is quite porous at your end, ma. The network is quite porous. Um, okay, if we cannot hear you at this time, let's look forward to the weekend. By weekend, we'll be having a forum like this again, where people can actually come up and air their opinions on several issues bring on the community. Thank you, Madam Abimbola, for trying to join us. I send you live this thing, yeah. Live? Has to, join. to join, okay. I've not seen it. Okay, okay, let me see. Let me see. Okay, I've seen it now, yeah. Yeah. Let, let me approve it. No answer from video guests. Mwa for Chinwe, thank you for joining us. Ehix. Ehix. I know Kevag, but this is your name long, where we're right from time. I know the people pronounce <laughs> Uh, he is, thank you for joining us. We are trying to bring Comrade I'm an enemy.
There's no video icon on your name here. Maybe you have to send. Is the network like you said? Yeah. Well, um, I am the mayor Alfred Afelihemi Erimakpelimi Oshowolua King Padano Ayeni. With me is uh, comrade I Manerimi Victor Onofa Aruguyo. The convener of the platformnews.com. Uh, we have spent uh, the better part of this afternoon uh, visiting uh, the Fulani camps within and around Blankwese and Okpamiri, and uh, we featured some of them on our live streaming. And uh, it was as a result of what we saw that we decided to come. Uh, online and chat it out with our people in diaspora to see how we can find a way to to bridge this menace. So in the future, the statement of uh, Chinua Achebe, uh, there was a country, does not apply to our dear homeland. Now, we are still online and we are willing to accept um, life interviews with whoever is willing to say something uh, so we can let's let, let's even hear opinions of people on what they think we can do how do you think we can manage the menace of the headsman uh, you see you see people trooping across the road towards the Fulani camp down there they have finished their day's activity you see there are women moving as if they are going into the bush they are going to a settlement inside inside there that is where we went today it was uh our journey to that camp today was a covert operation to see what is actually on ground and bring to you so that you will know that when we say the menace of the headsmen in the primary it is 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 a worrisome you will agree with us and believe us. What we saw there today is not something we are proud of. What is the way forward? Is the opinion we are asking from you. What do you think can be done? We've had a few people who are giving their opinions on And right now we have... Uh, um, who do we have online, sir? Okay, George not Raphael. We have George not Raphael online. Raphael, how are you, sir? Hello, Mr. Raphael. How are you, bro? Good evening. I'm fine, bro. Good, good, good evening, sir. Yes. What do you think about this full and yes, man, Minas? Uh, the way they are terrorizing this uh, country, I don't even understand them. More. We need to do something about them. More. Yeah, but the even question is, we are what do we that... need to do? What do we do? I think there should be kind of a cattle ran uh, ranch for them so that they won't be disturbing the country again. If they are inside their ranch and anything happens, we can easily locate each and every one of them instead of moving around the whole farm and disturbing the peace of the farmers. Thank you very much. Uh, can you tell us where you are from, sir? I'm in Lagos State. I'm Jenny from Lagos State. Okay, what tribe are you? I'm from Lankpesa. I'm a Lankpesa boy. Okay. Uh, how much do you know about the, the, the antecedents about, of the Fulanese? Have you had history of well, the wrongs they have been doing in your community? I've been hearing so, so many things about them. Even back then when I was in the village, I... I I had an incident with them back then. 
I think um, I'm talking about 2000, 2001. So I don't, I know it's been long. I come home. I don't know much about them. I, I'm talking about them that we even went to drive them off from our farms. Wow. I don't know of now. Okay. Thank you very much. Kindly help us share this video so that the awareness will begin to reach people who do not know the true situation of things on the ground. Thank you for joining us live, sir. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Um, Officer, Officer George Andrew has been trying to join uh, our live video, but I think the network has not been permitting him. Andrew George, Andrew George will be happy to have you online. Uh, let's see how we can help you, Andrew George. Thank you, George. George not Raphael for joining us. Andrew George, we are trying to connect you. Are you there? Well, um, at this juncture, we would like to bring this section to a conclusion. We will be continuing this trend subsequently so that if we cannot do anything for now, at least let's, let's, let's let the awareness trend, let the awareness trend, so that people will begin to get awareness of what is actually obtainable on the ground. Uh, comrades, Comrade Aruguyo, on the final note, uh, what, uh, what message do you have for our people? Very simple, we must unite, we must come together, collaborate and partner, a total synergy for us to be able to come up with um, policy, come up with how we can properly domesticate these headers who are becoming menaces to our people. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we, uh, we have been with comrades I Manerimi, uh, Onofa, Victor Aruguyo, and uh, Victor Aruguyo is a convener of the platformnews.com. He is the spokesperson of uh, the Okamari Kingdom, and uh, he's a gentleman par excellence. He's my boss, my mentor. I try to follow his footstep, and the mayor Alfred of Langpese has been collaborating with the platformnews.com to bring this to your viewing pleasure. We hope to partner with everyone who is anyone in our community and beyond to find